a beautiful day guys. It really is nice out. It's a little bit windy but uh, it still is sunny and lovely. And I'm just inside right now and um, if you guys remember the last couple of times we've been out flying, this kid Tim was with me. <clears throat> well he got into remote control cars as well and he bought himself a Sen, this one here. Uh, but unfortunately it, it didn't work. Uh, actually the cylinder got caught but uh, Mike f managed to fix it and I just fixed the the starter because it wouldn't pull but now it actually managed to pull you see I get resistance now didn't do that before so now I'm going down to see if I can start it so Tim can have it back because uh, he don't know anything about it so I'll just go down and bring a screwdriver so I can control how much it get of a uh, petrol because it needs to have plenty because he he gave it too little fuel so um, yep so I'm going down to do that now and hopefully I can get started so um Push your fingers for Tim. So I actually managed to get the car started. Well, I wonder if I can put this anywhere so I can show you guys. So maybe if I do like this and you start to hold it. Can I do it? Can you guys see anything then? You can see a little bit. So yeah, um, I still need to adjust the engine because it gives too much throttle and uh, I need to adjust that some way somehow. Um, there will probably be a screw or something I can tighten. But just to show that I can start. Um, I used the glow, glow plug here, connect that, and uh... But it does pull a little bit, um, and I need to figure out how I can adjust this. I tried to look at the remote, but there's nothing on this remote here to tell me that I can actually trim it on that bit where I want to trim it now, so um, I guess I have to do that manually, uh, which is a bit annoying, but it works, and um, yeah, I th think Tim's gonna be happy. So at least. <laughs> As you can see, it does take too many revs, um, it shouldn't pull that much, so I need to find a way to adjust that. I think it's just by... Um, what I want to do is actually, I want to get this to be able to move a bit the other way, but it won't let me do it. So, um, I wonder what to do. Um, I'll go up and have a look, see if I can find the remote for this, uh, not the remote, but the manual. So I can get this done for Tim, so uh, he can have his car back. But so far it works, and um, I think he's going to be really pleased that uh, we fixed his car and it wasn't completely broken. Where is that thing? There's the one. There we are. And the back one. So, yep. And uh, yeah, it is like a. This is like a beginner car. Um, it's quite nice, but uh, I think Tim was hoping that he could do as much bashing as we can with our T Maxes. But those are two very different cars. This one is very low. Where ours are very high. So, oh, and another thing. See, I clear coated my new board. How do you like that, guys? You think that's sweet, or you think that's purely awesome? That is just going to be a nice board. I clear coated it just now. I'm going to give it another go shortly. And um, yeah, hopefully I can get that set up and ready for fingerboarding tomorrow or something like that. Because I've been missing it a lot. And you can see we got all the stuff here. I got Euro gap there, the other gap thing there. And uh, my big box, apparently Mike took that upstairs without asking me, because that's mine. Um, so yeah, but never mind that. So And I got the ramp as well, and the rails. Alright guys, um, but please that I'll fix Tim's car. I need to go up and read something about it now, so I can get it set up for him, so he can go ride it today. Because I think he will. And uh, maybe I should get uh, the carburetor from my car and fix that on and see if I can get that started. Because that would be very nice. Alright guys, take care, see you a bit later. We're down in the basement and this is my new board which I'm just clear coating. Can you see the shine of it? Whoa. It still needs a couple of more layers. I gave it two layers so far. And uh, it's going to have about five layers. So I'm sure that it's all nicely coated. Can you see? Can you see the different plies in it? Is that nice? So yeah, that's going to be my new my new board, 
which is it is almost dry now. I can touch it and all that. So yeah, I'm just gonna give it one more. If people are asking what I'm using for clear coat, I am using this. It's uh, just a varnish, wooden varnish. That's what I use. But I use the one which is made for. Um, you can get like a soft varnish, I mean when it dries it's quite soft in the surface, but this one is quite a hard one so it can take some beating. And that's what you need to um, to get it uh, on the fingerboards because it's going to have a lot of beating. Also make sure it's clear coat because you want to have a clear look of it. And um, yeah, um, a lot of you guys have been asking how do I get the graphics on my fingerboard. And many of you thought it was a secret. I just haven't told yet, um, but it's not really a secret, and I would I would like to show you guys if you want to see it. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, this no, you, you could do it at home. Uh, if you can make a fingerboard like that, you can, you could do the graphics yourself, no problem. Uh, but if you want to see it, let me know, and I'll uh, tell you the big secret, which you obviously think it is. But it's not a secret. It's just like, well, I I, I just haven't told anyone yet, so um, there's not much to it. Um, I thought to start with, when I started out doing fingerboards, I wouldn't tell it really because I thought like, oh, this can be my sales trick, I know how to get the graphics on it. So I wouldn't tell anyone, but that's a long time ago. And um, I haven't stopped making fingerboards, as you see I'm making one right now, and I'm still going to make for the giveaways all the way around. And if anyone wants to buy one of my fingerboard decks, well, they're more than welcome uh, to contact me and I'll make one for you. And uh, you can buy them from me. I haven't got a set price on a... Uh, on a custom made fingerboard because I can do split pliers like that as well um, but uh, split pliers is going to cost some more because it takes a long time to do them and it's a lot more fiddly and all that um, but I will make them if, if people are prepared to pay for it but just, um, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see how I put my graphics on and uh, I'll make a video about it also if you want to know more about fingerboarding or how to make fingerboards I can show you um, I'll, I can make a uh, Make like a couple of days in a row where I show you a little bit of each, uh, or I can make uh, a couple of days vlog where I make a fingerboard from the very start to the very end, so you guys can see how I do it. But let me know that in the comments below. I need to get in contact with you guys again. I haven't been much on my ooh the light winds are scary. I just go put it on again. I haven't been in much contact with you guys. Um, on my comments and stuff, and I'm sorry about that, but it's just sometimes when I come home from work, I don't, I just feel like putting the video on, online, and that's it. Uh, I do go and reply now and then to some of the messages, but I will get back in touch with you guys again. Just bear in mind, when I'm working, um, I'm not spending much time on the computer, uh, especially not on uh, YouTube. Uh, I just make my daily vlogs to keep them going, and that's it. Alrighty, righty then. God, have you seen how much styrofoam we got left from all the... Uh the wings we built. I even got a full plate of star from standing here in case for a new wing or something like that. But the moment it's raining and it's bad weather outside so we can't do any of that. So, But let me just clear coat my deck one more time so I can go up and leave it for a couple of hours, come down do a fourth layer and then tomorrow morning I can give it the last layer and then I'll leave it for 24 hours and uh, yeah I'll make holes and all that. But as I said, if you want to know how I make the fingerboards, or if you want me to just show you some things about it, like how I sand them, or how I cut them, or something like that, just let me know, and uh, I'll try and show you guys. Um, but I think the graphics, how I add the graphics, is the one most of you guys have been giving me hints about, or something like, I would like to know that. So, put down in the comments below about fingerboards, what would you like to see? Alright, but I am going to go upstairs now after I clear coated uh, not yet another layer on my board and uh, I'm just going to sit and relax because there's not really much else to do. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take good care. Bye.